Chris Johnson now to work on the pass up and the message. Oh, God, I told you, Baba. God bless you, son. Shibra Katelia. Can we begin to give God thanks? Can we begin to appreciate him for his faithfulness, mm -hmm. for his. Uh, I hope you're not getting it. You are the cameraman, I need to be. No, it's yes. You don't the green glass now, the window. He's looking at me. No, I can't cause like your position. That's My position, look at <laughs> Now, Ken. Beautiful. Let's just begin to give God thanks. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him thanks. Reba Katara, Chicago. Buri ba 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 ba. Kuru musiki te ya baha. Buri ba ra ba ba. Sincerely, I want to ask, how do you feel? You know, in Facebook, when you are writing something, there's a place they have how you feel. You know. And the uh, example of the things, options given there, who can help us? Who can help us? Example of the feeling happy, feeling excited, feeling what? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Are you, you, have you not done that? You don't know what I'm talking about? No. Facebook, when you are trying to, what is on your mind? Do you, you, you see the, that, that place, what is on your mind on Facebook? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you write. Then there are options below. You know, the one you know is the one there. Gee, that ramping, you know, gee, gee. Who cry like Papa Pig. These are the ones you know. But there are another option there, how you feel in this thing. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling this. Feeling happy, love. feeling happy, you know, yeah. So, I want to ask you generally, how do you feel about this situation about coronavirus? <laughs> That's where I'm coming from. <laughs> yes, you can share with me how you feel, huh? Tell me the truth, tell me. I will tell you my own. Excited. Really? You feel excited? Yeah. Why are you feeling excited? You must have a reason why you're feeling excited. Well, um, I see it as, you know, a time to really, you know, encourage your faith, trust in God more, and look unto Him. And also, you know, I see it as, a, as an opportunity, you know, to, to advance more. In, in God's presence and uh, in the kingdom, so mm. yeah, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> that's beautiful. Put your hands together, yeah. Uh, who else want to share with us? It's, a, it's important we share this. I think I feel like I'm in cave, like I'm in, like, um, you feel like in cage, yeah, like okay. something behind me from other people. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like, like okay, that's I feel like I'm untouchable. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, you are a kind of being protected. Yeah, like I'm um, not cage. Here, yeah. cage is negative. Yeah. Like I yeah. have boundary between someone. So. Beautiful, yeah, you beautiful. That you 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 are um I just I was just sharing with my wife the the movie uh, uh I've been watching. Um uh Van is it Van Helens? You know, is the children of Abraham. They, you know, there's something they want to. Uh, it has been going on in the movie world. They have been trying to put that, but I don't know how true it was because Abraham Lincoln was a very powerful man. He walked with God. He, he established America on the foundation of God. And he said, there's no way America will survive without. Uh, Jehovah. Are you getting it now? So he says something. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. So he says something. So, but I don't understand Hollywood. Hollywood has been trying to make a point that Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, vampires were afraid of him. <laughs> 
And there's nothing like a vampire in reality. There's nothing like a vampire in reality. But they saw him as a man that entered the world of vampire, came out, and want to destroy him. So every movie, gradually, they try to point to Abraham Lincoln. So this one is the children of Abraham Van Hens. So they are proving the movies. I mean, if, if you have time, you watch it, but not watching it to, to scare you. There are people that like scary movies, like first of my daughter, she likes scary movies. <laughs> you know, don't watch it that way. Don't watch it because watch it to see if there is something God will speak to you in that. Mm. So I was watching it, Van Helsing. Their father is Abraham. Okay. Uh, I think they are pointing Abraham Lincoln because he was untouchable, vampire stuff. So this family, they have a blood naturally before even vampires started existing. They have something in their DNA that if vampire by them, nothing will happen to them. You see now? So that was from Abraham. Then he came to a, a, a generation, I think great, great grandchildren of Abraham Lincoln or Abraham Vassil, you know? But I know the person they are pointing at is uh, Abraham Lincoln. Then they now, that generation, their own DNA now improved. Not only that, when vampires buy them, they don't change. Now, when vampire buy them, when you are a vampire and you buy them, the vampire will change. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It moved from that level, the generation, it's just like the generation of Abishab Bersh in the house, and when vampire bite him, he <laughs> will not change. But the generation of Pastor Joseph and Jimmy, <laughs> of Abishab Bersh in the house, and Vanny, and you all here, when vampires now bite us, they now become Christians. Does that make sense? So these are the things I watch when I watch a movie. So I try to see the understanding where they are going. And what I'm talking about is about 53 series, 52 series. So I was moving to understand where they're going. They came to a place in season four. They brought in God, Jehovah himself. What I mean is, the picture there, if they have, they, they can't just that, they can't just show that kind of message if it was not a Christian that lives by divine revelation. So they came to a place where these are the children of Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Van Sin, you know? They are, the whole world is looking for them, they are known everywhere. They are known as the fact they are looking for them. At the time, one of them said, no, why kill the vampires? In as much as he takes something away from me when they change, why not I give my life? So now when it comes to where vampires, we just lift our hand like this, everybody will start biting her, and all of them will come, will, will come back to, are you getting it now? Then they will say, we want to follow you. Say, no, go. And when you get that, when you are transformed by the, this new generation of Abraham Vassin, anybody that turned back to human being, no vampire can ever turn him again. I'm coming with a message because this is just, this, this was why I was watching it. But the one that trained me, it wasn't up to 20 minutes, but the way they portrayed Jehovah there also happened. So this, this Abraham, Abraham verse children, everywhere they go, people celebrate them, people are praying, oh, thank you. So we, it's real, what we are hearing is real. So they came to a very powerful man of God. And that man of God, because while he was still living in sin, he lost all his family members. He lost his wife. And while it was all his fault, because he wasn't behaving as a father, so while he was at the age of dying, he wanted to commit suicide. God came to him. When God, that's what I say, nobody can ever change without encounter with God. And said, okay, look at the way. There is the way, this hell, heaven, which one do you want to choose? He saw heaven, everything, he said, no, I choose heaven. So during the time of the epidemic that the vampires has taken the whole world, 
That was when the man got born again. And the girl, man, because he liked fishing, he liked, he went to live in a place very, very, it's like river around. And every time doing his fishing, all this, do you know the vampires will come? <laughs> Move around and leave him. They will come to, none of them comes to that area. When he's going to buy something, they will see him and they will run away. Listen very carefully. Now remember there's the world, the, the America, everywhere, the whole world, they are looking for these children of Abraham verse to use them to see if they can bring an antidote, a cure. Then this, one of the daughters visited him, saw him, the man was not interested. They were fighting, killing, 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 killing. Man went to fish, he passed there, boat, and the lady looked at him. So the lady's partner, the person he was working with, now got, he wanted to shoot, then he got blinded. And these are the things that happen to anyone that has been changed by this era. If you have been, if you have been changed, if they bite you again, you will like, kind of die and come back normal. So they went to this man and said, help us. The man said, miracle, God will heal him. The lady said, there's nothing like miracle. You know, these are Abraham, the, the, the highest level the world has seen. He said, there's nothing like miracle. This, that, 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 because she's believing in her power. She's believing in her lineage. Don't you know who I am? I am a daughter of Abraham, Vasi. And what's your name? I am this, that, that, that. He said, okay, we have you that. The man said, I'm not interested. He said, because me, I'm protected. And the lady now said, you must help me. He said, can I get an antibiotic? He said, the only way you can get antibiotics is to go to all these ambulances that have stopped on the way, that have been harassed, wallet, and all these things. He said, I can go and get for you. Look after this man. The lady said, no, we are going together with the man. Ah? He said, I can go and get it. Nothing will happen to me. Nothing. The lady said, no, I'm going with you, thinking that she's the most powerful, this, that, that, that. So the lady carried the guy that was sick, and they went, and they saw an ambulance. So the man went in to get it. One of the vampires wanted to attack the man. The girl shot that vampire. I was, I told you, you talk about miracle. You talk about miracle, you don't have any miracle, this, that. If I have not helped you. As they were ministering to that, this is where the greatest message came, and I love it. And I like the way they did it. They just finished that plot, they closed it. Left the message. If you want to believe it, believe if you don't want it. So, as they were doing that, they have raised armies of vampires. That even that Vanessa cannot kill. I mean, that verse in, that daughter of so when the girl saw the army, said, no, this is where we have finished. Ours, everything has finished. Nothing. And you know what happened? The man said, if you believe the God I believe, I'm assuring you nothing will happen to any of you here. I'm telling you the truth. In, the, in that movie, that same movie. But you see where they went and hid just 20 minutes, something very powerful. And the man that will have problem with the eyes is a powerful army man. He said, don't, 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 don't believe this man. He brought out his gun, cocky, <laughs> blind man. <laughs> then the other lady was ready with all her power. He said, let's die here. He said, none of you will die because of me. He knelt down. We're just speaking it all. Saraba, Shikabu, Randa, Hamaha, Balegede, Kurokuto. Do you know what happened? You know, thank God for moving people. They went up now. They showed the army legion, gibbons coming. And they showed where these people were at their middle. When they came near, there was like a wind. They divided themselves. These two said, let's go like this. There's something here that we cannot, if we go there, we perish. The other side. So they divided into two because of that man. The baby, that, do you know what that lady was doing? That Abraham Lincoln. And these are like people in the world that have gifts. 
that God has given gifts. People like us that have been called world changers. But that doesn't guarantee our greatest success. Our greatest success is having a relationship, keeping a relationship. You see all these pastors, most of them, you're going to hear my message, it's going to be short. Because I just want to bring out one of the characters of the next judge against coronavirus. In that movie, I, I spoke in tongues, I started speaking in tongues, I said, for the for Hollywood, Hollywood, God bless you for bringing out this. There are people, the people, the world are calling them foolish people because God uses the foolish things of the earth. The world are calling them arrogant. But actually, they are the one that those demons, this coronavirus is afraid of. They were there for more than two hours and the legion that is going to destroy the world was passing. You are in Christ. That man is in Christ. That man in that movie was in Christ. If any man be in Christ, I have always told you that Christ, being Christ is an utmost for you. Carry it. I carry Christ anywhere I go. Do you know if Archbishop Bessie Dahosa was alive and this thing started? Do you know what? We will go to the television. Mm -hmm. We will say, Government, no other power can destroy this coronavirus that I know, or whatever the, the new world order is planning. They say, Jesus, Jesus himself. And I'm challenging you now. You go to a television. I challenge you. If anybody get this disease in our church, close the church. That's how Bishop Ben said that was that for you. you. What do you want? You want people to be healed? Is that what you want? You go to the press. You go to the news and say if anybody. And listen, our Bishop will not say everybody start coming. He will call his members and say, if you are ready for miracle, it's your choice. So it's only those that will come. He will make sure that all his spiritual principles are intact. 